What is up, Karatex? In this video, I'm going to be giving a guide for this week's normal time trial, RC Bandito time trial, and the premium race totaling over $300,000. Remember that time trials can only be completed once a week for the full $100,000 payout. The premium race, however, can be completed in a limited amount of times with a 48 minute cooldown between each win. Also, keep in mind that rocket powered slash flying vehicles cannot be used in time trials. So, starting off with the time trial this week, which is Up Chiliad, I highly recommend either the Hakushu Drag. Shotaro or a Baddy 801 for this time trial. In terms of route, this time trial is pretty tricky as you have to avoid a lot of tree stumps, rocks, and other trees as well in the way, so you can fall off your bike or crash many times if you're not careful. And you need a vehicle with good off-road speed since you're basically going up the side of Mount Chiliad, so the best vehicle by far for this is the Hakushu Drag due to the insane speed and acceleration it maintains going up that mountain. As always, I will be attempting to use the podium vehicle of the current event week on these time trials if they're quick enough to complete them. And for this event week, we have the Retinue Mark II on the podium, which is a quick car on road, but not so much off road in comparison to most rally cars in this game. I tried quite a few times, even taking a few different routes, and the Retinue just really struggles going up the main side of the mountain, which is where it loses a big chunk of its time. So I was forced to pick an alternative vehicle and I definitely wanted to keep it with that same sort of rally sports car feel. So I went with the SE Sport, which is the best rally car in the sports car class for most sports car rally style off-road tracks. And it was substantially better going up the mountain with the overall acceleration and off-road grip as well. Overall, I've noticed that attempting this time trial with any car in general is quite tricky and you're definitely going to have a better chance with a bike, but after a few attempts, I was finally able to beat it with my fully upgraded SE Sport. Moving on to this week's RC Bandito time trial, which is Vespucci Beach. As always, you need to own an RC Bandito in order to participate in these. This RC time trial is pretty tricky if you've never done it before because of the higher speed turns, bumpy sections, and the tighter sections as well. Make sure to let off the throttle during most of the corners to maintain the stability of your Bandito. And to avoid flipping your Bandito, make sure to approach most of the large bumps head on rather than at an angle. And of course, make sure to brake for the tight sections as well. And lastly, when you use your brakes, make sure to press them in about halfway, not all the way, or you might lose control of your Bandito.
And lastly, we have this week's premium race, which is Senora Freeway. This one is restricted to the Supercars class. I highly recommend Aravita Vest 8, Emerus, or Krieger for this race. This one is pretty easy for the most part. Many people mess up at the first corner because they don't realize the speed they're gaining from a substantial slipstream at the beginning, so I highly recommend braking early for that first turn. The rest of the race is pretty simple with the majority of it being top speed where you can slipstream other players back and forth, and there are only two other 90 degree corners which are very simple, but anyways for this race I will be using a fully upgraded Divest 8. And that's it guys, the normal time trial is a bit tricky to complete due to the obstacles you need to avoid off-road, but it's definitely a lot easier with one of the bikes I mentioned. The RC time trial is pretty difficult if you've never done it before, so just get off the throttle for most of the turns and just brake a lot for the tighter sections. And this week's premium race is pretty easy if you just brake a bit extra for most of the corners. Again, remember guys, you can earn over $300,000 between the three this week, and setting yourself a way to beat them is always a lot of fun in my personal opinion. Let me know which one you found most difficult, and what vehicles you use down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.